What's going on, guys? It's NY Prepper here. It is Good Friday, 2021, and I have a breaking news update on the situation in Ukraine. So what you're looking at here is some footage of military vehicles in Belarus being deployed to the border of Ukraine. Okay, so these are Belarusian military vehicles that are being deployed to the Ukrainian-Belarusian border. And we know now that the president of Belarus, Alexander Lukashenko, had a 30-minute conversation with President Vladimir Putin of Russia, where they discussed the situation in Ukraine. And they also discussed threats from Poland and the United States. Okay. And this is very uh, interesting information here. And it looks to me that after the conversation, the president of Belarus decided to deploy his troops towards the border of Ukraine to uh, help Russia, basically. And what's also concerning is that last week, Belarus and Russia held joint training exercises in Belarus on the border of Poland and Lithuania in a area that's strategically important, and it's called the Suwalki Gap. And the Suwalki Gap is a very narrow uh, piece of terrain between Poland and Lithuania where Russia and Belarus could take over that small strip of land and basically cut off the Baltic countries of Lithuania, Latvia, and Estonia from being able to get any kind of reinforcements from the rest of NATO, all right? And I've done videos on that before. Um, if you're interested in learning more about that, you can go and watch my prior videos, but you can also just look up Suwalki Gap. It's a critical piece of terrain in Poland, and it's, it's the border between Poland and Lithuania. It's a very thin stretch of border that's only 30 miles long and Russia and Belarus were doing drills right outside of that area and it's always been a fear of NATO that in a conflict Russia and Belarus would conquer that thin strip of terrain and basically cut off the Baltic states from the rest of NATO okay uh, so here what you're looking at, like I said, we have armored vehicles in Belarus being deployed to the border of Ukraine. Now we also have some other information here, uh, very critical information. Uh, I did a video earlier today of uh, heavy fighting being reported in eastern Ukraine. There's uh, currently heavy fighting going on in eastern Ukraine. There's no confirmation on who exactly is fighting, whether it's the separatists or whether it's the Russian military fighting with the Ukrainian military. Uh, there are reports that the Russian military has been shelling Ukrainian army uh, foxholes, okay? But it's unconfirmed at this point. Uh, it's just speculation. Um, but we do know for sure that there is heavy fighting in eastern Ukraine right now. There's um, many uh, sources of information and, and many videos on the internet showing uh, small arms fire and uh, artillery shells uh, going off in eastern Ukraine. So the situation is escalating very serious here on Easter weekend 2021. I find, I find the timing to be very strange. Uh, it's Good Friday. I mean... I, I can't imagine, you know, wanting to go to war on Good Friday. I, I couldn't even think of it. You know, that's just an absolutely insane thing to do. Um, you know, today is the day that our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, uh, suffered and died on a cross uh, for our sins. Okay. Um, I can't believe that these people are going to war now. Uh, it's, it's really crazy. But we are on the brink of World War III. Now, we also have some information that Russian generals have arrived in Ukraine. Several high-ranking Russian generals have reportedly arrived in Sevastopol. And they arrived on a Tu-204 aircraft from Moscow. And the, their reports are saying that these high-ranking Russian generals are going to be 
directing operations against Ukraine from Crimea. Okay, that's not a good sign at all. Uh, we also have the former uh, head of U.S. Army Europe, General Ben Hodges, calling for a naval blockade of the Crimean Peninsula. Uh, if you guys are unaware who Ben Hodges is, he was in charge of the U.S. Army in Europe for the last few years. And he said that the United States, quote, must be part of this operation. We must implement measures that will make the commander of the Black Sea Fleet feel very uncomfortable. And he's talking about the uh, Russian Black Sea F Fleet, okay? So that's the latest information that I have. Uh, we have Belarus deploying military forces to the border of Ukraine. We have several Russian generals uh, arriving in Crimea to direct operations against Ukraine. Um, it, it, this is a very serious situation. It's escalating fast. So I wanted to just update you with the latest information that I have, and I'll keep you updated as things progress. So as always, take care. God bless. And don't forget the three Ps. Prepare, practice, and persevere.